Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to the last session of government schemes and major amendments that have been made in the last one to two years, uh, which you will not find anywhere else. I have uh, coll collected all of these through ministry websites. Whatever new acts or laws have been passed, whatever amendments have been made and uh, in various government schemes and whatever new government schemes have been initiated. All these have been discussed through these five sessions that I've held in the past uh, uh, some some of the past days. So today is the last session where I will again be picking up five questions. Let us start with the first one. The question is quality mark award scheme. Quality mark award scheme has been initiated with the support of Department of Animal Hus Husbandry, Daring and Fisheries to encourage enhancement of safety, quality and hygiene of which project? Which product? So which product is a part of this quality mark award scheme? related to uh, with the support of Department of Animal Husbandry, Dairying and Fisheries. So this is where you get the answer. Of course, uh, it's not fish and fish products. That is a confusion that you will have if you uh, have not read about, read about it. Vegetables and fruits and juices can be easily eliminated and the answer to this is milk and milk products. Quality Mark Award Scheme was actually rolled out in the year 2016. So it's not a recent scheme but uh, some changes have been made in this scheme okay it is the purpose is to promote and encourage safe uh, and hygiene milk and milk products uh, manufactured by dairy cooperatives it is a part of umbrella white revolution okay and uh, whoever cooperative is approved and provided this quality mark can use it on the package Let's come to the second area, Zero Hunger Program. On the occasion of World Food Day, this happened in the year 2018 and therefore it's important. Three districts in India have initiated India's Zero Hunger Program. This program has been initiated under which ministry? So when we're talking about Zero Hunger, yes, we'll be talking about Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. So the answer is B. The names of these three districts and states are also important. They can also be asked from you in the examination. Number one, UP, Gorakhpur. Number two, Orissa, uh, Korapur, Koraput. And number three, Thane in Maharashtra. These three states and districts have launched zero or initiated zero hunger program under Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Okay. The program consists of three major things. Number one, farming system for nutrition. So del understanding and developing uh, farming system dependent or focused upon nutrition, setting up genetic gardens and initiation of zero hunger training. Now, when we're talking about genetic gardens, then uh, sub micronutrients will be supplemented uh, in order to ensure that uh, the nutrients are not lost and major micronutrients are also provided through the food. Another question based on zero hunger program. Uh, initiated has been initiated by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, but three major uh, organizations are also involved. Okay, four major organizations initiated or headed by ICR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research. Now, three organizations' names are available here, and one is incorrect. We have to identify which one is not associated with Zero Hunger Program. Indian Council of Medical Research, because we are talking about genetic transformations, MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, because uh, of course, we are talking about agriculture. Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council is also part, but Agri Biotech Foundation is not a part of this program. Okay, so these three are the major programs in association with ICAR in this uh, zero hunger program. The Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has implemented Pusa Krishi. What is Pusa Krishi? Pusa Krishi is a mobile app which helps in increasing returns to farmers and the purpose of Pusa Krishi is to double farmers income or work with uh, with other uh, initiatives in order to help in doubling farmers income. Sahaka 22 is a mission launched by NCDC National Cooperatives Development Corporation. Now whatever initiatives are going on in fields related with agriculture whether there is uh, it is cooperative whether it is horticulture uh, whether it is multiple farming or mixed farming, whether it is fisheries, all of them have the same objective, doubling of farmers income uh, by 2022. What is the main aim of the income to double the income of farmers? So the answer to this is 
again see doubling farmers income by 2022 okay and now these were the major initiatives major major schemes which underwent some kind of amendment some kind of uh, change and therefore they have been asked by me created by me in form of questions please cover them if you want them uh, want to cover them in more details as well you can do that very easily yourself as well i hope these videos are going to be helpful for self studying and also uh, for understanding how i have covered the entire syllabus as well as how am i revising and covering different remaining parts of current affairs as well as other areas which are going to be very useful for the upcoming examination all the very best if you have not subscribed to the channel do it now press the bell icon to get regular updates about my future videos which are going to be more revision focused and which are going to be very helpful for your upcoming rbi ncb examination all the very best take care